Will you hold this for me? Under your tongue, the place where you keep the most brittle words, ink-stained gums, as if you were thirsty enough to drink water from a tainted stream. Palms cupped, flesh bowl, swallow the nausea. Each drop slick between fingers would be a loss to grieve. A left-hand glove, a lover's middle name, the letter E. Will you take it? Once stamped fragile in red or softly compromised, veined with rooting cracks, now I think what's left to hold is only small. An animal patched together from bird bones and feathers if you look at it from the right angle. There, the tilt. There, light bends around a necklace of vertebrae. But not a bird, some other hollow-boned body. Reanimated by your breath, it will twitch and jerk, but never breathe on its own. Hear the cartilage pop like clattering teeth. This is what a poem looks like underneath. The bare abdomen after autopsy, a blueprint scrawled on the underside of flesh, a map of veins suddenly exposed. It craves warmth, must be pressed against the chest like this, kept warm, no, like this. Remember the people haunting the hospital, intubated preemies clasped in their cautious fingers, little half-ghosts, translucent as paper dolls held up to the light, and the babies, too. It's like this. Sometimes there is only touch, whirled in a nest of hands or clinging to a smooth belly for its heat, the fragments of a dropped egg reattached, clumsily, scars patched with pyrite. Call its glint fool's gold, but don't tell me I should never have cracked my ribs and offered. Let the air touch it, invited decay and examination. Don't say corrosive. Don't say I've forgotten to bury this broken part so it has to be carried. As weight dissolves, it grows dense, heavier. I've been holding dark matter, keeping it from dripping down and seeping into the dirt. I only know aching arms and this question. Will you keep it, just for a while? There's only a little while left, when you understand a single day as the most fragile thing of all.